we've seen two days of violent protests here in Caracas, 70 people injured on Tuesday, at least 20 people shot Wednesday. One of the injured yesterday was a Venezuelan reporter, Greg Jaimes. He's covering the story here. He was in a helmet and a gas mask when a member of the government National Guard fired what seemed to be a riot control grenade that exploded at his feet, his mask filled with blood. He posted later from home that he is recuperating, but that he lives in a country where members of the press are attacked. As far as the disputed president, Nicolas Maduro, he made an early appearance today, 5 a.m. at a military base. If you watch state TV here, you see Maduro day in, day out, surrounded by troops. It's a real effort to show that those troops are loyal to him, and Maduro is claiming victory. He said he has defeated a coup attempt on Tuesday. Here's Maduro. Today, I have a much clearer picture of the plot, the conspiracy, and the coup that we defeated yesterday. Yesterday, a handful of traitors tried to impose itself, and look at what happened. They were caught. Maduro still is in control of the senior military figures, but his position is not all that secure. The opposition leader, Juan Guaido, still maintains freedom of movement around Caracas. So you have an opposition leader calling for a military overthrow, and the current president, afraid or intimidated, is not throwing him in jail. Back to you, Bill. Steve, thank you. Steve Harrigan, live in Caracas, Venezuela. Thank you.